The conversation surrounding Sony's rumored next-generation compact cinema camera, known unofficially as the FX32, has been intensifying at a remarkable pace. What started as small whispers across rumor forums has grown into a steady stream of credible leaks, insider confirmations, and even early regulatory filings that point to Sony actively preparing a major upgrade to one of its most popular cinema bodies. If predictions hold, the FX3i could arrive toward the end of 2025, positioning it as one of the most anticipated filmmaking tools of the year. Filmmakers, solo creators, and production teams alike are hoping Sony will use this new model to not only fix the limitations of the original FX3, but also introduce innovations that push compact cinema cameras into a new era of performance and usability. The first-generation FX3 earned its reputation quickly after launch. Its compact shape, low-light powerhouse sensor, and cage-free mounting system made it an instant favorite for professionals who needed mobility without sacrificing cinematic image quality. It bridged the gap between Sony's Alpha lineup and its cinema line, offering a hybrid feel that appealed to everyone from wedding filmmakers to documentary shooters. Yet, while it offered a great foundation, Many filmmakers felt the FX3 fell short of being a complete professional tool. Key features like internal RAW recording, open gate shooting, advanced monitoring tools, and deeper workflow integration were noticeably absent. These omissions didn't destroy the camera's appeal, but they did leave creators wanting a more fully realized model. Rumors surrounding the FX3II suggest that Sony is taking those concerns seriously, preparing not just a mild refresh, but a substantial leap forward. In terms of build and design philosophy, insiders believe the FX3II will retain the core identity that made the original so beloved. The FX3 is cage-free approach, offering multiple minus 20 mounting points built directly into the body, was one of its strongest advantages. It allowed users to attach monitors, microphones, lights, and other essential accessories without the need for an additional rig. The successor is expected to expand on this idea with stronger, more reinforced mounting points to support heavier accessories. Improved weather sealing is also rumored, making the camera more reliable in challenging outdoor environments such as rainforest jutes, desert productions, or cold weather expeditions. Ergonomics were already one of the FX3's strengths, but leaks hint that the FX3II will bring subtle yet meaningful enhancements. Button placement may be rethought to improve access during handheld operation, and the side grip could become more comfortable for longer shooting sessions. Sony has been steadily refining its ergonomics across the Alpha and Cinema line cameras, and the FX3II seems poised to inherit the best elements from both worlds. Thermal performance is another area expected to see significant refinement. While the FX3's active cooling system allowed for long recording times, the internal fan could produce audible noise in quiet shooting environments. Interview setups, sit-down documentaries, or scripted scenes with soft dialogue sometimes captured faint hums from the cooling system, forcing creators to rely more heavily on post-production audio cleanup. The FX3II is rumored to feature a redesigned cooling solution, potentially quieter, more efficient, and possibly even fanless. A silent or near-silent cooling system would give filmmakers greater confidence when recording sensitive audio, improving the camera's professional reliability. Another upgrade many creators are hoping for is an improved articulating display. The FX3's screen was functional but limited compared to newer Sony models. Rumors point to the FX3II adopting Sony's latest articulating LCD technology, similar to what's found in the A7S IV and A1II. This would allow more flexible movement, tilt, swivel, rotate, and flip, without clashing with HDMI cables, microphones, or top-mounted accessories. For solo shooters, vloggers, and mobile filmmakers, this would dramatically improve usability in unpredictable shooting situations. One of the most exciting possibilities is the addition of built-in electronic ND filters. Historically, built-in NDs have been reserved for larger cinema cameras like the FX6, FX9, and Venice. 
Bringing this feature to a compact body would be a massive workflow advantage. Instead of screwing on variable ND filters or juggling filter strengths, filmmakers could change exposure instantly with a button press. This not only speeds up shooting, but also preserves image consistency during fast-paced productions. It's a feature many users have wanted since the FX3 first launched, and its potential inclusion in the FX3 II would significantly elevate the camera's professional appeal. Sensor performance appears to be the center of most leaks. While the original FX3 used a 12.1 megapixel full-frame sensor designed for exceptional low-light performance and fast readouts, the FX3 II is rumored to use a newly developed 6K-capable sensor. This does not necessarily mean full-resolution 6K delivery, but it suggests oversampled footage, improved detail, and better downsampled 4K output. A move to 6K would open the door for more flexible post-production cropping, reframing, and stabilizing, features highly valuable in commercial, documentary, and social media content. More interesting, however, are rumors of a global shutter or near-global shutter performance. A true global shutter would eliminate rolling shutter completely, allowing the camera to capture fast-moving objects without skew, distortion, or wobble. This would be game-changing for sports cinematography, fast-paced action scenes, gimbal work, and drone-mounted shots. While global shutters traditionally compromise dynamic range, Sony's recent sensor innovations suggest they may have found a balance that still satisfies professionals. Even if a global shutter doesn't materialize, a significantly faster readout is highly likely, minimizing distortions and improving slow-motion performance. Autofocus is another component expected to receive a major upgrade. Sony's AI-enhanced autofocus, first introduced in the Alpha 1 II and refined in the FX6 II, could make its way into the FX3 II. This system uses deep learning to track subjects with impressive accuracy, recognizing human eyes, animal faces, vehicles, and even unpredictable movement. For one-person crews, wedding videographers, YouTubers, or travel filmmakers, such advanced AF could dramatically reduce missed shots and ensure professional-level focus consistency. Two features stand at the top of most filmmakers' wish lists, open gate recording and internal RAW. Open gate capture uses the full height and width of the sensor, giving creators maximum flexibility for cinematic widescreen, vertical content, square format, or immersive XR workflows. In conclusion, the FX3 II is shaping up to be far more than a mild refresh of the FX3. All indicators point toward a significant evolution, one that addresses previous limitations and embraces new technologies to support modern content creation. If Sony delivers on even half of the rumored features, the FX3 II could set a new benchmark for compact cinema cameras. It promises enhanced imaging power, deeper workflow integration, smarter ergonomics, improved audio, and greater flexibility for filmmakers working across a wide range of platforms and formats. Ultimately, the FX3 II represents Sony's commitment to empowering the next generation of creators, offering portable cinematic performance without compromise.